Hey YouTube, Jose with Cologne, like back with another fragrance review. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions slash review on a newer Armoff review. I haven't done an Armoff cologne in a while. It's going to be Armoff Enchanted Royal. I'm just going to do it all in one take just like i uh, done a few other first impressions. I purchased this one used on eBay. I just got it about a week ago. Haven't worn it at all. I've taken the cap off and done a quick sniff like that, but I have not worn this cologne. This will actually be my first time spraying the cologne. Um, just what I'm getting off my initial impression from the cap it smells like it's going to be a good cologne. Um, I looked on Armoff's website and there's and on the internet in general. I couldn't find too much information on it. I was able to find the Armoff Enchanted Royal. I believe it's body wash. They have the body wash listed on their website, but they don't have the cologne, which is kind of strange to me. So I'm gonna read you the notes for the Armoff Enchanted Royal body wash, and I'm hoping they're the same notes. I mean, maybe it's just a mess up on their websites, and these are the notes that are in the actual cologne. But top notes for this one are blood orange, fresh citrus. Um, the mid notes are honeysuckle, both manthus mag and magnolia, and the bottom notes are amber, musk, and cashmere wood. So, taking a quick closer look at the box and bottle, um, as you can see here, it's a white bottle. Try not to get too much reflection there. It says Enchanted Royal, uh, arm off Enchanted Royal with the little tie there glass got a magnetic uh, plasticky cap it feels it kind of feels metal but it's more plastic it says our moth on the top there um, got a little arm moth enchanted on the back there batch code on the bottom box is pretty similar it's got the uh, tie feels like it's nice and grippy like a t-shirt and tie so I'm making it seem like it's a businessman type cologne I don't know if you can see it at all with the super bright light that I have on there. Um, but that's the box and bottle for Armoff Enchanted Royal. So let's go ahead and give it an actual spray and I'll tell you what I get from this. It smells good. Smell. I know I didn't see it listed in the notes there, but I'm getting like a lavendery smell. It smells clean, fresh, soapy. Definitely getting some florals. Um, like a soapy floral smell. Citrusy, lavender, soapy floral smell it smells familiar but there's not definitely smells good um, I would definitely say this would be a crowd pleaser and let this dry off a little bit um, I could see it being a compliment getter um, all occasion cologne for the most part. I, you could even wear this year round. I would say it leans more towards the summer and spring wet, but this is one of those uh, scents that you could probably pull off year around. Um, wear it to work, dress it up. Definitely nothing that's, I would say, groundbreaking, but it's a good smell. Not obviously not changing much right now it's just an initial blast so what I'm just getting is a uh, soapy you know almost a linen smell it's, I can kind of pick out a original Santal Mont Blanc individual smell with like because it also has like a soapy vibe with like a Prada amber mix and not saying it smells like those colognes, I'm just getting that type of vibe. It definitely doesn't smell, 
I would just say it kind of leaned towards those colognes. Like a mixture of those two with a little more of a rosy touch and uh, smells good. I have no complaints about it. Um, I'm sure it's going to get great performance and longevity like most of the Armoff colognes. Um, just an overall pleasing smell. So like I said, it's going to be a like a clean linen, soapy, um, lavendery, citrusy smell. Closest comparisons that's jumping out to me is like a Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc Individual slash Prada Amber. So overall, I'd say it's a good cologne. Um, it wouldn't be a bad blind buy, I would say. Um, like I said, nothing mind blowing. And if you are sensitive on florals, this one is a little heavier than some of the colognes that, it's a little heavier on the floral side, but it's got that lavendery, soapy linen smell. But overall, a great cologne. So that was my, a good cologne. I don't wanna say great yet, cause I haven't really worn it for a full day. Uh, so that was my, sort of initial impressions of Armoff's Enchanted Royale. Before I end the video, obviously, like you guys have been seeing every week, I've been going through my collection, seeing what I want to get rid of, still selling stuff. And I don't know, for some reason, I was online the other few weeks ago and I saw a great price on these and I picked up a few more. And then I, I don't know why the hell I bought so many more. I ended up, I think I got about five bottles of this right now why I have five bottles I don't know I can get a I can be a compulsive buyer at times so I'm giving away one of these already and I'm gonna go ahead and give away another one I got it at a steal of a price it was it was an eBay seller he's got no more left so um, I actually picked up two of these and they were like 25 bucks a piece free shipping so um, giving away another one Armoff's Club de Nuit Intense Man my favorite Aventus clone. So I gave away Rasasi Port Louis on my last week's giveaway. My favorite Aventus clone, Armoff Club de Nuit Intense Man. If you want to get in on my giveaway, thumbs up, comment, count me in, and make sure to be a subscriber. Check the date on the video, make sure it hasn't been over a week because usually around the six, seven day mark is when I pick my winner. I'll post in my description that the giveaway is closed and I will make a video in six to seven days announcing the winner. So that was my giveaway and that was my quick first impressions of Armoff's Enchanted Royal.